Hey man, you already know, know what time it is the hood of South the South American gangs himself, man. No, I'm in the bluff. The motherfucking bluff. The most violent neighborhood in Atlanta, Georgia. The west side of Atlanta, man. The most violent. We got the highest crime rate in Atlanta, Georgia, man. Atlanta have the highest crime rate yourself in Georgia, man. You know what I'm saying? We're in the bluff with it. You already know Simpson Road, Ashman. We up here. And we at the park, Kenny Park, doing it for the kid, man. You know, that's all it's about right now, man. We OGs right now, man. Let them know what you got uh, going on, like your, your previous this project that you just got, the American Gangster. Right? American Gangster, man. You know, that's my first new tape. They got the street fucked up right now. The hottest thing out here right now. Can't lie, feature my big homie, Future, the big brother, Free Band Gang. You already know what's happening. From American Gangster himself. Man, we're talking about a lot on the mid right now, man. I put my life on it, man. I put my life into it, man. I take a life for it. You already know what's happening. Why you just add the whole yeah. rest of the rest of the sauce? Y'all gotta do all that? <laughs> 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 hey, hey, this is Fable. Hey, this is Fable. This is Fable. Now the cast back in. I ain't no idea now. You play the nigga Rico. Hey, you play the nigga Rico. You play the role of a snake. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, that's gonna be all real Fable for this. Holding on, not say that it ain't going out like this, man. Live in the hood, man. We just pulled up on the homie Brallo, man. Fam, cool. Man, you already know, man. I'm up in the bluff with it. My motherfucking niggas from Hood of Fouls, man. That's a motherfucking Hood of Fouls. Well, you know, man. You just dropped that new mixtape right now. I've seen them, the, the, the views online. They, they really fucking with that drop. Man, you know, Dario Street just put me in a good position, man. We're getting $5,000 a show right now, man. I was just crying about $500 a show last year. You smell me? And, like, man, you know, it really, it really about that time for a street nigga, real niggas to get in the building. You did what I'm saying? And too many niggas been faking it till they made it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't really too many real niggas that make it out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? To be here to talk about this shit. They even dead in prison. They're like dinosaurs. They got to dig us up and catch a bone or something. You smell me? <laughs> so, it just put, everybody got a good feeling about it, you know what I'm saying, because all the street niggas and all the women that got niggas that keep getting incarcerated and locked up, they can relate to the music that I'm talking about, because they know the truth, you see what I'm saying? Like you said, that shit took you from like 500 to a show to 5,000, I know you put a lot of effort into the new joint, like what's the difference between your first mixtape? Well, I don't even know if that was, your, was that last mixtape before that, your first mixtape? Yeah, that was my that was first mixtape. Uh, it's a different because I was able to learn a lot of different things, you know what I'm saying, about promotion, you know what I'm saying, how to get my views up, and then I had a, I got, I got a following, you know what I'm saying, I got a street following, I got a fan base, I got a silent fan base, that people fuck with me, and keep digging, they keep building up, you know what I'm saying, it ain't nothing like making a silent foundation, so when you build your house, your house gonna fall, you smell me, and like, it put me in a position where I ain't falling, you know what I'm saying, I ain't the one hit wonder, I'm here, you know what I'm saying, my niggas love me, my fans love me, and whatnot. And like, it was a different because like, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. I know what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I know how to market this shit, you know what I'm saying? I know how to put my money in the right places. At first, yeah. I ain't know where to put my money, period. You did. So, like everybody know that if anybody be following you from your first mixtape, they know you linked up with Scooter. How did that, how did that relationship? Scooter is my motherfucking brother, man. You know what I'm saying? You know. We were right here in the bluff, you know what I'm saying? I was homeless when I was younger or whatnot. And I had to go spend, I used to spend that old Kyrie Lil, I mean, Scooter Lil Brother, his name is Kyrie Broughton. Shout out to my old fucking nigga, K-Block, in jail right now. He keep catching K's up K, but anyway, to make a long story short, I was spending the night with him every night, and that was Scooter Lil Brother, so I kind of like moved in with him or whatnot. Snuck and moved in with him. And got now I'm that where I was standing, you know what I'm saying? And he he started rapping, I got out of prison, I told him I wanna rap. And shit, he been one hundred percent behind me ever since.
So you know he on a on a new mixtape, whatever artists or producers you fuck with on that. See, you, that know, Scooter, you know Scooter, I give him all the recognition, all the fact I got him to host the mixtape and whatnot. But I got, you know, of course I got my boy Shaglis. I smile like to my art. I got my boy Future. Shout out to the motherfucking Wilson. I got Rich on my porn. I got Thug. You know, Thug. And my motherfucking man, he's not gay. I'm the realest nigga in the motherfucking game. Shout out to my nigga Thug. I got my uh, I put my boy Block 125 here, real dope by nigga, know what I'm saying? He ain't getting he ain't getting the recognition that he needed, so I went on here to help him and gave him a push, know what I'm saying? And now he dropping in mid tape on hosting the mid tape on stopping him, found goon. Got my boy Band Game Marco, he ain't been getting a lot of knowledge, man. It's just a lot of people that have been working real heavy that ain't been getting knowledge, know what I'm saying? So I want to put them on and push them, cause real niggas do that. Know what I'm saying? These fuck niggas ain't doing that. Smell them. What made you want to like share the stories about your about your life with the people? Cause you know, with these people nowadays, they don't give them the real. They want to give them all the other shit. Cause you know, you know, if I if, if they give them the real, then they ain't no real nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That shit they be talking about killing people, shooting people, flipping bricks. They ain't do that. You know what I'm saying? So they got to lie and say they did that in order to look like somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you're a nigga like me, you know what I'm saying? Niggas keep it real, know what I'm saying? It's hard for niggas like me to keep it real because we don't want to put our business out there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas doing their thing in this saloon and they listen to me every day in their car because they know where we came from, you know what I'm saying? We came from the bottom in this shit, you know what I'm saying? We came from places that niggas scared to go. And niggas feel going, you know what I'm saying? I came from a place where niggas spending their rest of their life at, you know what I'm saying? I came from. And the thing about it is like, Niggas was in the prison with me, niggas was down the road with me, and they always be with their girls and their homies and be like, I was with Rallo. Rallo was on the bed with me, you know what I'm saying? We were bunk mates, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm able to share that shit to the world now, you know what I'm saying? This niggas was in Waycross, Savannah, all the prisons on mental. They able to be out here, you know what I'm saying? Say they was with me, you know what I'm saying? And they proud of me, you know what I'm saying? The only thing I'm trying to do is make my niggas proud of me and make the rest of these niggas hate. Me.